Paul Gilbert in his compassion-focused therapy has talked about how um, we so often um, attack ourselves, really. I mean, our brains are set up with the amygdala where we're searching everywhere. It's like the fear center. It's searching for an attack. What can go wrong? And then when, it, then when a, an attack is perceived, the body is flooded with um, adrenaline and cortisol. The problem is that's, that's great if we need to run or we need to physically defend ourselves, but that's rare. Actually, usually the attacker is ourself because we're not somehow living up to our self-concept. And so we, we attack ourselves, we flood ourselves with these hormones, uh, adrenaline and cortisol, which are not particularly good for our bodies, and we might be doing that over and over again all day. And um, our fight becomes self-criticism. Our flight becomes self-isolation and our freeze becomes self-absorption. So this really isn't a good way to go. <laughs> and in fact, there's tons of research that shows that being more compassionate is so much healthier for us, not just on a physical level, but on a social emotional level. There's tons of it. Similar to mindfulness, it also decreases anxiety and depression and stress. And I can truthfully say it really decreases um, procrastination, which I've suffered a lot from. And the reason is I no longer have to be perfect. Um, so I can go ahead and launch into it and, and go ahead and do it instead of fearing it so much because I'm afraid I won't live up to my own standards. So it's great for reducing negative states. It's great for increasing positive uh, states, like feeling more self-confident, feeling more connected internally, and therefore feeling more connected externally. So it just has an abundance of positive results.